Brainstorming for topics is not a linear process. It's twisty, there's a lot of steps, and it can be repetitive. So, where can you look and what should you think about in creating a research topic? This gives you at least some tips of where to start. So, the first things to think about. What are you interested in? Do you have a specialty or something you already know? If so, maybe you want to expand on that. Or do you want to learn something completely new? So what if you have no idea what your topic is? How do you come up with one and how do you think of one? Let's talk about some places to look. The American Nursing Association is an excellent place to tap into. This is a professional organization all about nursing and they have trending topics, they have information about best practices and guidelines, as well as general scope of nursing. So this is a great place to get an idea of what nurses are talking about in their interests. The National Institute of Health is also a fantastic resource to go to. They also have trending topics and things that are happening that are new in relation to health. Of course, this is a bigger step of looking at health from a larger perspective, but you can take any of those topics and ask how that applies to the nursing practice. The news and social media. So those are great places to look and look at what health topics are being discussed in these places, especially if you're looking at a specific location. So if you want to know about what health topics are being discussed or analyzed or this or that in a specific region in Ohio, then look at the local newspapers and media outlets to see what they're talking about. So something like that can be even a quick Google search. You can also explore nursing journals, um, browse around and see what's being published. Look at video four if you want to see how to search for journals. Now that you may have a general topic such as interprofessional teams in healthcare, you can start thinking about narrowing it down. So what about your topic? Is there a specific population or location you want to zone in on? So maybe I want to think about interprofessional teams in healthcare and improving patient views of healthcare professionals. Maybe I want to focus in rural areas since I live in rural Appalachia. And something else to think about to further narrow this down is what could be an outcome? So maybe an outcome of thinking about patients and interprofessional teams is improving that patient and physician or healthcare professional relationship and that communication. So the reason why you're asking yourself these questions is because just typing in interprofessional teams is that's a broad topic. So what about it? You're going to get a bunch of results if you just do that one concept search. And quite honestly, you don't want to sift through that many irrelevant articles. So tailoring that down to be more specific can really help you in the long run. Lastly, is your question answerable? What I mean by this is some questions have not or cannot be studied. So sometimes it's helpful to even do a quick Google search on your question, like legitimately copy and paste your question into Google to see if anyone is talking about it at least a little bit. Or you can ask yourself, if you were to actually develop this study for this specific question, what would you do to actually answer the question? What kind of study would you create? What kind of things could you ask? And who would it be? And how would you research it? If you can't answer those questions, then maybe you need to think about a different topic or look and do that quick Google search to see if anyone else is, is answering it in some sort of way. Unfortunately, there isn't research on every topic that's out there, which is fantastic because it leaves a lot of room for those researchers who are interested, even if it's you someday. But sometimes we have to be mindful about what does exist out there and how we can tailor our search and our question to be most successful.